Now Verline on the first lap. A lot of cars locking up ahead of him. And I wonder, ah, yeah, that'll be why Jensen Button and Pascal Verline have uh, gone out then. Verline thinking that the uh, McLaren should have been a little further ahead, rather got in his way, and it was his fault. But I don't know, on, on the road, Martin, the car behind normally has to take most of the responsibility for a crash. Yeah, he put his hand up as much as I, I can only assume he thinks Jensen put it into reverse gear, but Jensen was busy hanging on to the racetrack and what was in front of him. So a little bit clumsy there from Verline. And that'll be not only the second time Jensen Button's gone out on the first lap in Belgium, but the second time at that chicane as well. Yes. If you remember back to 2009. Yeah, at the moment, just struggling with the front. It's not helping rear on exit, but front's really weak. OK, Daniel, understood. And he's losing touch with Nico Hulkenberg a little bit as Daniel Ricciardo. He's six seconds behind the man in second place. And this has been a dream start for Nico Hulkenberg. Sergio Perez recovering up to uh, to fifth. And, oh, and there's someone gone into the tyre barrier on the exit of Radion. And it is Magnuson. the Renault of Kevin Magnussen that has gone straight into the tyre barrier at the top of a Rouge de Radion. And that's a safety car deployment. That's a really, really big impact there for Kevin Magnussen. What happened to the Renault? And it's those kind of teams today that have got a chance to score big points because this is a crazy motor race. And uh, did he get a puncture? Well, did he just make a mistake? I have to say, absolutely phenomenal, fantastic, fabulous to see Kevin Magnussen walking away, albeit with a bit of a limp there, Martin, but the fact that he's able to get out of the car and to walk away from a high-speed accident such as that. You are, you are going through there, 190 or so yeah. miles an hour. And it's uh, the tyres have done a good job there. Unfortunately, the way the barrier comes back onto the... Safety car, safety car for him. For Kevin had a big crash in Rouge. He's fine, he's fine. P7, safety car. And looking at the, he's obviously had all four locked up. He's hit the bit of barrier just before that, look. And then, unfortunately, the way the forests are there and the way the track layout is, when you go in. Let's just have a look as he reaches the top. Whoa. And how is it, Martin, there that and he's gone in rearwards and, and spun round, but, but look at... Look at the bodywork that flies off. Yeah, the head restraint has gone. wasn't there to do its job, was it? It's held in by some two prongs and pins that the drivers take out. And uh, all pitting, then, or many pitting under the safety car. Hulkenberg, Perez, Grosjean and Palmer all coming in. Kimi Raikkonen coming in again. Lewis Hamilton has stayed out. Esteban Ocon has come into the pits as well. That puts Hamilton up into seventh. Remember, starting on the medium compound tyre, along with Fernando Alonso, who's ahead of him in sixth at the moment, and they can go that much longer. Those on the super soft tyres deciding to get rid of them under the safety car. It looks to me like Magnussen had a little bit too much throttle on on the top of the hill, and he's lost it in the turbulent air behind his teammate, Joe Palmer. And uh, unless there's a slow puncture, it looks like driver error at the top of the hill.